Hey guys, today we're going to work on our Union Brigade Calvary. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sit back, grab a beverage, and enjoy the show. Okay. We're going to uh, do a video today with our uh, new setup. Um, again, this is another uh, Twitch trial and uh, we're going to show you some of what I'm working on here. British Union Brigade Calvary. Get them out of the clothes cam here. Turn my hat around. So we're good. Now, a couple things I want to go over real quick. Uh, some of the colors I already have on, and I haven't, I didn't uh, record some of the early stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm starting with the flat red on the uh, British uh, uniforms. And you notice, um, you know, they're using that red in the, uh, I guess you would call it his uh, <laughs> his sleeping bag or his bedroll, right? But again, I want to stress that what we did was uh, we started off with a self-leveling primer, gray. That way I don't really have to do much to the pants, which are already hard to get to, right? So we're going to put up our, unit, our uh, box here and you can kind of see what we're talking about there. I'm going to get right up on the camera and you can really see what we're doing here. Uh, now I also have a uh, well the kit comes with a, a little insert and I've got it up on my uh, bulletin board over here to keep in front of me to give me some uh, some ideas. But I want you to note how even on the box art we're dealing with it's this isn't a, a true white uh, it's it's really an off-white because you figure in battle and over the over the course of months of uh, fighting and whatnot the uh, the white isn't white anymore <laughs> right so we're talking about doing an off-white so there's a couple ways you can approach this. Now here we have our pure white and I have my buff. I really like using this buff a lot. Uh, I use it frequently in projects. Um, it's good for toning down a white, dirtying a white, making it look more uh, rustic. Um, so there's a couple approaches you can do here. Now you can start with uh, the straps. You see his straps and like his gloves. Um, he's got, I think that is a haversack that they keep uh, food in. You know, bread, a hard tack, you know, like we would call, you know, <coughs> dried bread, dried beef, things like that. Um, but what I chose to do is, and if you look here on my palette from when I was working on this, I mixed the two together, okay? So, um, to make a dirty white. So that's kind of the approach I'm going. I'm not going to go with two different layers. Uh, a lot of times I'll put the buff on first and then I'll go back in and put white over it. But I think what I was going to do here was I was going to do the, the, uh, the buff and the white. Now here I have eh, probably about 50% of this force is already done with the white. So we're going to bring in a uh, a miniature here that I haven't uh, done in white yet. And we'll do a couple of them. So you can tell, uh, let's do a guy here. Oh, let's do a guy here that doesn't have a horse done yet. I've been experimenting with that. And that's uh, you know part of the process, guys. You guys just watching the channel and just getting into painting. A lot of this is just experimentation. You know, be, don't be afraid to experiment. So these are uh, Scots Grays, um, 
and it uh, refers to the horses and uh, you can see I started with my flat uh, gray self-leveling primer and I've come in with a white almost like a dry brush I'm trying to experiment with, uh, with the kind of the color I'm going to go with now I'm probably going to come back in with a uh, light brown wash to bring out some of the definition on the horse uh, the horse's uh, uh, mane and then I'll probably come back in with just a little bit of white and I'm going to refer back to the box art again here um, and you can see they've got some different variations like this horse here is a lot whiter and this one is a lot more muddled and again here on the end see how white that horse is that gives you that nice variation and contrast uh, with what you're going with with the finished product okay so keep that in mind uh, now since I'm gonna start playing uh, more skirmish games uh, bolt action and, and, and uh, forager in terms of uh, Napoleonics you can see here in their basing they done some uh, which will be my traditional basing for uh, black powder and 28 mil two horses on a stand and look they did two as singles and those are your collectible figs so you've got your bugler and you have your officer and I'm probably gonna do that I'm gonna put them on single bases and that way I can use them for my skirmish game right so trying to look ahead a little bit just a little tip a little FYI the back on the shot a little bit there so I'm gonna do one or two uh, just to show you new guys don't want to make the video too long uh, I already don't get a lot of views on these paints um, and uh, yeah so let's go in with our mix and remember for you new guys get online amazon.com get a big bag of lead sinkers and you put your lead sinkers one lead sinker in uh, your paint bottles. So let's do our buff. We're going to do our white. And uh, we're going to go in with our buff. I'm not going to mix a whole lot. So we'll do a little bit of um, buff. We're going to be about the same amount of white. About 50-50 at this point. I'm going to mix them. Right? I'm going to mix them and see if I can match this color. It's almost like a tan. But what you can't see there is I didn't fully, fully mix it. And I want you to see this. Now, this is something that I've been toying with and experiment, experimenting with. Where I'm getting it a little bit dingy. And I'm not fully, fully mixing it. That way, what I'm going for is um, some areas, like let's say of the Calvary glove. Uh, some of it will be a little off color. Some will be a little white, almost like it's kind of gotten a little dirty over the last several months. And I want you to notice I'm using two different brushes here, uh, depending on what I need to do. So I'm using a detail brush, and then I'm using a fine detail brush. Let's get that in the shop there, make sure I'm getting it for you guys. So I'm using the detail, an insane detail. Okay. Now this comes in the standard, this is detail, Wargamer detail. And he's gonna come in your three pack. I don't think I have any more three packs preserved. Do not take them all the pack, but like I said before, you can get a three pack of the detail, the regiment, and the small dry brush, and a three pack on Amazon for 15 bucks. And for a red sable brushes, you're not going to beat that. So we're going to start off with just the standard, you know, the standard brush. Um, and uh, let's get some more light on this subject. All right, 
looks good. And we're going to go in, we're going to get these straps. The trick is, get some paint on your brush and don't go in just a light touch. And you can see how he has a um, haversack here. I'm going to go around the canteen. Right? You don't necessarily have to get up into these little nooks and crannies, guys. Because once we do our wash, it's not going to be necessary. You're not ever going to see that. So don't stress up over that. You see how I just kind of drug it over the edge. I'm going to hit this little bit here. And you can see he got his uh, bedroll. Don't worry about that. You don't have to get back in there. It's okay. You got just a little piece right here. And again, don't get too much paint on your brush for this more detail work. And don't push hard on the on the uh, on the brush just uh, lightly lightly push and again one of my weaknesses is putting too much paint on my palette it's really light really light Like so. And you go in with his glove. You don't have to go deep into those recesses, guys. You really don't. You just really don't. Let's see if we can get more light down on this for you guys. I'm just going to go in and paint like I normally do. I can always go back in and edit. And uh, on my edit, I can uh, lighten the effect for you. Right now, that seems a little thick to me. So here's a command decision. I'm going to come in with a drop of water. It's it's a little it's a little on the thick side. So we're going to put in a drop of water. We're going to mix it in. This is what I do when I paint guys or build. Like today I have a uh, night at the game table. If you guys haven't seen their videos, I highly recommend them. Um, especially you Star Wars just Legion players and you uh, Warhammer players, Warhammer 40k players. <coughs> They've got some great battle reports. And that's kind of what I want to do down the road, guys, with the channel. Is... Uh, do something similar to what these guys are doing, which is giving battle reports what they deserve. Several camera angles. A camera angle pointed at the uh, at the dice roll. Yeah, going in with the glove. Getting all around the cuff. And again, you know, I want you to notice something, you new guys. I'm getting it all different kinds of angles, and that's what's nice about using a cap. Um, you can really get a grip, so to speak. And uh, make sure I'm staying on the shot here. And uh, get in those little. Hard to reach areas by using different angles. I want you to notice something, guys. This hand is on the table. This hand, my wrist is on the table. Okay, so I'm forming stability. And that way, 
It's not as shaky. Right? It's just not as shaky. Get his thumb, get his fingers, right? I'm going to kind of look around. There's some more strapping I haven't gotten. I'm going to come in and grab that. And there's a buckle. I'm going to touch that with some white. Off-white is what this ends up becoming. And more of the strapping. So <clears throat> now the back of his jacket, and typically with these 28 mils, I've got to come back in with a little bit of red at the end sometimes and just touch up. But you see, he has his little folds on his jacket, and you can see how I'm see what I'm doing here with my left hand. I'm really gripping that to give me the stability. And again, I'm with this, with the right hand, with the brush, I am barely, barely touching with pressure. Very, very lightly. And that gives you control over the color. But like I said, don't freak out. You get a little bit on the red jacket. Uh, at the very end, that's what touch-ups are for. You know, you go through, you take your red and you go through and you look through every figure and you go through and you just do those red touch-ups. Alright? So I think that's all we're going to do for the video today. I'm going to go in with his uh, scarf that's right on his chest. Get that done. And you see on this one I, I, I messed up or his bedroll I didn't get red. Right? So that's something I'll have to touch up at the end with the red. You can see like an example right here on his on his uh, bearskin hat. I, I got some red on there. Well, we'll get that off here. The next color we'll do black uh, for his bearskin hat and his boots. Uh, so that's what I'm doing guys. I'm uh, going bit by bit and that's how I'm getting my off-white uh, gloves and strapping uh, finished. All right, guys, hang in there. I'm going to be back here in a little bit. We'll put up another video with another color added, uh, especially for you new guys that are just getting into painting. Don't get discouraged. Uh, it's it, it's it's uh, the old German saying, alles Anfang ist schwer. Schwer. Every beginning is difficult. At first it's gonna seem difficult, but at first, uh, but as you go along and you start doing this more, you're gonna get better at it. So don't give up, hang in there, be patient, deep breaths, you know, and be calm. And that's what's great about this hobby. It's uh, a way of uh, getting away from it all, coming to your quiet place, your hobby place and just chilling and painting and being calm and it's very soothing i like it see you next time guys and look out for the next video next time we're doing black see ya